Oh, right, the lab access. Hold on. Uh, what, where was that code again? Codes and clues. Lab access. 6483. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Six. Oh, oh God. Four. Eight. This is really hard to do with the controller, honestly. Three. Okay. Hello! What's all this crap? Oh, uh, besides stuff I don't really need. Disinfected water, I'll take it. I will take all the water and all the nutrient blocks you will possibly give me. Please and thank you. There's a PDA in here. What can we learn from the hive mind of Pulsion Cannon? Six. Repulsion Cannon. Oh, fuck! Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. What? Your technology blueprints have been updated. Thank you. Why were they corrupted in the first place? Care to elaborate? Madam, by attempting to fit in such entities into our rigid set of concepts, we are painting onto a world a false impression of concreteness and meaning. I feel like none of this makes any sense whatsoever. And uh, doesn't, I don't care. Pause and read. <laughs> I'm wasting time here! Okay. Daytime. Alright. My Seamoth is here. Luckily. Reaper Leviathan didn't drag it away while I was in the ship. Okay. I think we're clear. Where is... What? There it is. Where is my upgrade thing? Is that it? No. It's, uh... I think I just heard it. Fuck me. It's on, uh... Here we go. Go ahead and put... As for the Cyclops, safe diving depth does not stack. It sure used to stack. Yay! Now we can go down to 300 meters! That's Mark 1, though. I think we can go up to Mark Welcome 3. Aboard, Captain. Oh, God. Okay, now we have to actually get back without getting eaten. <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and repair this thing so it's at 100% in case we get grabbed, which is entirely possible. Okay. Home, James. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. It's right there. That's the Reaper Leviathan. Boy, ain't it. Oh, you have a lot more. Oh, you have a lot more animations now, and you totally know I'm there. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Where the fuck did it go? I thought it was gonna get me. <laughs> okay, yep, you got a better look at that thing. You know what? Close enough, I'm going back. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys a story of the first time I encountered the Reaper Leviathan. Uh, and I need to pull up something on my computer in order to make this uh, meta. Okay, so, my very first save of this game. I was puttering around in my Seamoth that I just built, and I was super proud of it, and I was like, this is awesome. And this is this is basically the story of how I learned this game was a horror game. At first, I was just kind of, like, uneasy the whole time, but I just figured it was because, you know, I'm on an ocean planet and I'm not in a human environment, and it was just kind of tense, you know, like all survival games are. But I was puttering around at night. I think I was looking for metal salvage for more titanium, I think is what I was doing. And I'm a lot closer than I thought I was to this thing. But I'm puttering around in the dark, and all of a sudden I hear... And I look over at, at my power, which I think was, it, the interface did not look like this at the time, but my power said zero. My headlights went off, oxygen in my cab cabin went off, I was like 150 meters below the surface in the pitch blackness at night, and I shit my pants accordingly, and I was just like, oh god, I need air, I need to get to the surface. So, I completely panicked, I got out of my Seamoth, and swam straight up to the surface, Welcome aboard, Captain. And as I'm swimming up to the surface, um, editing Genation, just in case, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to mute the gameplay, uh, so they can hear this. I, when I'm about halfway up to the surface, I hear this. And I had no idea what it was. I'd never heard that before. I didn't even know there were Leviathans in the game at that point, and I was just like... 
what in the almighty fuck was that? I get up to the surface, I check my inventory, yes, I have a spare power cell. All I gotta do is swim back down. Reminder, this is at night. It's pitch black, I can't see shit. I'm almost back down to my Seamoth, and I hear the roar again. But this time, it sounded like this. Needless to say, I shit my pants. Again, I totally panicked. I replaced the power cell, got back in my Seamoth, and I got the fuck out of there. I would not go back out at night for a long time in this game after that. I never saw what it was until much later. I know now that that's a Reaper Leviathan, but at that moment, I never saw it. It was right next to me somewhere in the dark, and I just couldn't see it. It was horrible, and that was the moment I learned that this was a horror game. <laughs> it was so scary, dude. But yeah, that's a thing that happened. Anyway, we've got a new message here. This is an automated distress signal from Live Pod 12. Another coordinates attack. Warning, Live Pod has sucked beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. 250? <laughs> That's a lot shallower than I was expecting, honestly. And we can also go over there and do that. It. It. There. Hey, look it! <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. I love. That's my favorite poster in the game. I also just realized I forgot to grab the Aurora poster in the captain's cabin. Uh... Hey there, Mr. Reef Baxter. God, I love this game so much. Okay. Let's go to. Wait, this one is almost 1600 meters away this one is oh this one's a lot closer okay let's go for this one. Oh, look at those things glow look at that <gasps> oh this place in the dark is cool it's also scary but cool hello fuck are you moon pool oh my god i need that i need that so much and i just realized i don't have like anything equipped on my hotbar right now so i'm gonna go ahead and do flashlight Knife. Sea glide. Okay. Oh god, you scared me. And you see down there on the bottom of the screen? Uh. Oh, it's the bulb zone! You can see the, the upgrades that I have in my thing. Look at this! This used to be called the Koosh zone, but now it's just called the bulb zone. I'm gonna find a good place. In fact, this looks like a really good place to do it. Ready? What's this? Ow! Unnecessary! I'm trying to show my audience something cool! Ready? Look at this. Look at it in the dark. Isn't this cool? Oh, I love this so much! Oh, Jesus Christ! There's a geyser there. Okay. I almost backed up into that. What are you guys called again? Electric eel things. You're kind of a pain in the ass and I don't like you, so I'm gonna leave you alone. Look at how big they are! It's like Epcot with a bunch of fiber optic lights on it! It's so cool! Also, not quite as big, but still really cool. Okay, here we go. Detecting volcanic activity and oh. several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Yeah, you're a couple Exercise minutes late. Caution when diving deeper. Thank you. I'll keep that under advisement, faux show. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I know, I know, I know. Just give me a second, okay? Integrating new PDA data. Is there no thing? Oh, here we go. No, that's not a thing. Uh, God, I want, I want a, a data pad. Is, is there a data pad around here somewhere? Oh, God, I've done it 30 seconds already. Christ almighty. 30 seconds. Uh. Welcome aboard. Uh. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna listen to this thing. Officer Danby. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. Oh, good. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. We gotta start somewhere. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. 
For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Yeah, you, you are. You did. Ooh. What is that? Something that apparently really wants to die. <laughs> yup. <laughs> oh, it's not dead. Oh god. Oh Jesus, I heard, I heard something eat something else. Okay, I'm gonna go see what this is. This doesn't look familiar. Hello, what are you? Mesmer. Can I, can I scan you? Can I scan you? Scan, scan. Hello, no, come on. Hold still for me, please. Hold still. Oh God, I'm burning. Ow, ow, ow. 30 seconds. She's kind of swimming around. Hello. Ow, God, it's hot even without the interrupt. Oh shit, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Ugh. Oh, I didn't scan the mesmer. Where, where did he go? Oh, there, there he goes. Can you stop hanging out like around the freaking volcano thing so I can scan you without burning to death? Cause that would be awesome. Is that another one? What the fuck is it doing? Okay, okay, uh... <laughs> I don't know what it just did. It put its fins out and then ate a fish, and I'm a little nervous to get back out of here, but I'll do it. Hello, Mr. Mesmer. Oh, I don't want to do that! No! I can't look away. Whoa, this is... This is infinitely scarier than any Leviathan you could possibly throw at me in this game. I'm gonna drown! Okay, then. I'm gonna read up on you. Also, what the fuck was that? I'm hearing a lot of scary noises and I don't like it! seen Ruby in this game ever. You guys are weird, but you also don't do anything. You're shuttle bugs. Hey, you're creepy looking. I've never ever seen Ruby in this game. Rooster Teeth would be happy about this. Scan it seconds. so I know what it does, and then go right back before I get... How did it do that? Like, it made my PDA woman talk to me and Tell me to swim closer. Indigenous life forms. Fauna. I'm assuming it's a carnivore because it ate fish. Mesmer. Oh, you're creepy. Hypnotize its foes. Hence what? Mesmerize. Got it. <laughs> the mesmer swims using a number of wings which can be angled up and forwards on approaching its prey. Tiny lenses. Get out of the way. On the surface can be tilted independently to create mesmerizing patterns which flood the victim's brain with enticing messages interpreted in whatever form is most convincing by the target. The mesmer can open the jaw-like recess in its protective outer shell in order to l -l 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 share its beauty. Do not resist. Assessment draw close. What the fuck? It's actually like affecting my PDA now? I don't like it here! <laughs> no mind games! I'm gonna fucking kill you because I don't like you. I'm all over the place here. Look at it. Ugh! That's so weird, dude. I'm gonna fucking run you over. No, come here. I'm gonna fucking murder you because I don't like you at all. Is it dead? I think I killed it. 
I think it's dead. Come here, you fucking piece of shit! I can't pick you up. I killed you for no reason. Well, I mean, other than, you know, Spike. You're freaky. Oh, that's also freaky. I feel like that's supposed to be loaded in. Whoops. Okay, so I found the life pod here. Now I can go get that one, which is an awful ways away. I think I've got time. I'm getting the hell out of here. I That is a brand new creature. I have never seen that before. It's disturbing, and I don't like it. I'm gonna go now. See ya, Bulb Zone. You're awesome. Wait. What the fuck is this? Dude, why can't- Why, why couldn't I have built my base here? Ooh, this is- No, there's Mesmer everywhere. That's why I wouldn't build my base here. Okay, just kidding. That was crazy. I- I wasn't expecting to see anything super new until we got closer to the end. This is so cool. It's like I'm rediscovering this game all over again. I love it. Aluminum oxide crystal is ruby. It used to be labeled as an aluminum oxide crystal. Got it. Hard conductive gemstone composed of aluminum oxide. What can I use that for? Blood red gemstone made of aluminum oxide. Rubies may be processed in order to leverage their structural integrity in advanced vehicle construction and modification. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad I found that. I will definitely hang on to that. Now that I'm going past my base, I'm gonna go ahead and save while I'm out here. Yep, this is the pillar that my first base was initially on. The precipice of death. And I guess the pod is down here. Oh god, you scared me. So many shuttle bugs here. That's not terrifying at all! I think this is the mountain range. Boy, ain't this a way down. He's right at my crush depth. I might not even be able to get to him, but we're gonna... What is down here? Oh, I feel like this was a big mistake. Oh, it goes down so far. Oh my god. Okay, I'm already like almost at crush depth. I should have I should have crafted a better scuba oxygen tank thing. Shit. No, no, nothing. Okay. Boy, I hope there's nothing down here that's going to eat me. Because again, I know there's Technically, there are five Welcome Leviathans in the game Captain. already, and there's a sixth coming, because a reef back is a Leviathan. Uh, apparently. It didn't used to be labeled as a Leviathan, but apparently it's a Leviathan now, so cool. What the fuck? Lithium, sure, I'll take it. Uh, Ruby, sure. Uh, I'll take this, too. Gold, sure. Hello. Oh, moon pool! I need that, desperately! I can make a motherfucking moon pool! I'm so excited! And I just can't hide it! What was I talking about? Right. There's five Leviathans technically in the game, uh, including the Reefback. And so I guess out of the five, I have experienced three. I have experienced the Reefback, I have experienced the Reaper, and I have experienced another one uh, that's coming. And then there are two more in the game that I've never encountered before. I don't know where they spawn. I don't know what they do. I know what they look like but based off based solely off of screenshots so i've never even seen them like move at all and i'm terrified to encounter them because now that we're getting really deep in the ocean what the hell was that what is that that looks what Vent. Oh, I'm gonna read up on that shit. That's right at my sea moth's crush depth. Oh god. The fact that it'll crush my sea moth at that depth and not me is a little weird, honestly. But okay, uh, alien. Vent. Connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. Oh! The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it into an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated -oxy water, oxygenated <laughs> water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents, 
peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Yeah, look at them. They're going in. Oh, oh God, they're being sucked in. That's odd. Why is that a thing? Weird. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't even really know what biome I'm in right now. I want to say this is the sparse reef, but I'm not positive. There's a lot of quartz in here. Oh, good lord. Okay, I thought maybe there was an entrance to see him all the way down there, but there ain't, so... Okay, yeah, this definitely looks like the sparse reef. And I know it connects to the sparse reef. Oh, I, th I think we might be able to see the entrance to it. Oh, God. I mean, the entrance to this place I'm talking about is way deeper than 300 meters. Just saying. Oh, God, there you are. It took you long enough to pop in there. Well, you landed in a beautiful place, sir. Look at this in the dark. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna sit right here at the top of Crash Death. I'm hearing noises! I think it's the shuttle bugs. Okay, we might be good. Okay. Can't light on. Oh god. What's that? Ultra high capacity tank. That sounds good. I need that shit. Voice log. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. Alright, I'm gonna read that right now. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life pods attached to a cave planet four and thirty seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. I think I know what that is. But they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain? That was when the gun hit. That was impact. Wow. Oh, that's gotta be so horrifying. But okay, I made it. I don't... There's nothing down here, thank God. But how do I get out? I can't see the... Oh God, is it nighttime? I think it might be nighttime. Oh, crap. This place just got a lot scarier. Okay, I actually need to head back to my base and stop. There's a wreck here. Is that a prawn arm? Oh my god! Whoa! Look at all this stuff! Passing 200 meters. I'm aware! Efficiency greatly decreased. Torpedo arm. I was hoping it was the grapple arm. Still cool though. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to scan here. I'm definitely gonna have to come back. Boy, do I wish I brought a second beacon. Because I have a second beacon, I just didn't bring it with me. Oh no, they're still there. Okay, good. I can use that as a mark to come back to this wreck. I can't see fucking shit. Oh god, this is so scary. I can't see anything. I'm gonna putter on back to my base and just hope I don't die. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna start crafting stuff uh, and we're gonna, I'm gonna I think we can go down into the jelly shroom caves now that I can go down an extra 100 meters. But maybe to be safe I'll want to make another one. So I'll, I'll get started on that. For next time. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. We have a new message. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. 7 out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Oh, come on! Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Oh, why does that look so terrifying? And how can it be structurally sound if it's under the water? In an area of low ecological activity, transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora stern section. Does that mean Reaper Leviathan territory again? Those rock formations don't look great. And what's that up there uh, on the top? There's something swimming around up there. It might just be a bone shark. Interesting. Yeah, I th we might have to go for that next time. I've never seen that before.